Oh, brilliant, Spark. Thank you so much for this opportunity to jumpstart your day. For the last few days, we have focused on leadership presence, and we started with reflection. Yesterday, we talked about revelation, and today is all about reconnection. As we look at uh, businesses being opened up again, uh, cities, states, governments, uh, literally rebooting, restarting, reigniting. One of the things that I want to invite us to consider, those of you who are leaders of people, obviously, this is the new normal, right? That goes without saying. And the mindset of people that work inside of a company or business or an organization is how will I be held accountable now that the world has changed? And for larger organizations or even medium-sized organizations that have performance reviews, I would invite us in the spirit of reconnecting that could it be that performance reviews as we have known it need to transition and become a career investment discussion as to how do we grow as a result of what we've been through. Because telling a person that they meet expectations or they don't ex meet expectations or exceeding expectations, which, which is where everybody wants to be, is that really realistic with 30 plus days gone in the fiscal calendar? So I would invite us as we reconnect to evaluate that, you know what, we have to suspend performance reviews and think of a better way. I would love for you to post a comment in the, uh, in the space below if your organization, if your business is already thinking about how do we look at evaluating how people are doing. I think the second thing in the spirit of really reconnecting to where people are, how are you doing, how do we get through this as an organization, is for the love of God, suspend the employee survey. Just suspend it. We're not going to do it. And if it dies a slow death, that would be even better. Here's why. So you do an employee survey after people have come through a pandemic. <laughs> I don't think it takes a rocket science to a rocket scientist to figure out how people really think about where they are. Imagine, and this is going to be a little far fetched, but but hear me just for a moment. Emotionally, people have gone through a Hurricane Katrina and a 9/11 in 30 days. Okay, emotionally, and to now come back to a place of business that sends out a survey, totally insensitive. And I think what we really have to focus on in the spirit of reconnecting is let the healing begin. And it starts with our leadership presence to show up and let people know that they matter, that they are important, that you are cared for. Now we still have to do the work and we have to take care of our customers, but your employees are your number one customer. Because if you take care of the employees, the employees will take care of your customers. So we, we don't have the opportunity to go back to pre-COVID-19 thinking. We're now in the new normal and people have to know that they are not just a human doing, but they are a human being. And, and we, uh, we value, we value who they are as a human being. And together we will grow from this because I need you and you need me. And together we uh, move into the future because the future is created in the present. Okay? I love you. I believe in you. Leadership presence is all about reconnection. All right? I believe in you. I love you. I said that already, didn't I? <laughs> ah, it's not a darn thing you can do about it. And, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll, wrap this, uh, we'll wrap this all up. All right, remember, spark hope now. We've had a phenomenal two days. Two more days to go. Uh, today at 12 noon and Thursday at 7 p.m. Sparkhopenow.com. Love you.